Joined now in studio by a pair of seniors from the state championship, Sylvania Northview Wildcat baseball team. We've got Blake Bradford in the middle, Garrett Draper on the end. Fellas, thanks for, for coming in on a holiday weekend and spend some time with us. Yeah, thanks. thanks for having us. Thanks. Let's go back to a week ago, going into that game. What was the mood of the team? I know we've talked throughout the season about how loose this group was. It didn't seem like you guys felt pressure at all. Was there pressure going into the state championship game? I don't think there's as much pressure as everybody would expect. It was our first state Final Four appearance, which people would think that comes with pressure. But in reality, I mean, we were playing as the underdog. Underdogs don't have any pressure on them. We embraced that underdog mentality, and we just went out, played our game. As our coach Sparka said, he goes, don't make the moment any bigger than it is. We played the game of baseball just like everybody else. Blake, let's talk about that final out. A line drive right back at you. What was going through your mind? Yeah, I mean, when the when I threw the pitch and the ball hit right back at me, it came at me in slow motion. And when I caught it, I was like, wow, we, we won. And the surreal, like, so surreal that we won a state champs because nobody expected us to be there. What has this last week been like for you guys? Has it sunk in yet that you guys are the state champions, that from here on out, Northview will have a state championship baseball team and you are major parts of it? I think it's starting to sink in more as, as it goes on and we move apart, away from that day. Uh, yesterday with the parade, seeing the community support us, it started to sink in more that it really is over and we really did do it and we're state champs forever and nobody ever will be able to take that away from us. Uh, I wish that we could play together again as Northview Wildcats, but yeah. going out on top made it worth it. And Blake, I mean, you were part of the senior class. That you guys have been playing baseball together for a long time. To, to win a state championship with, with guys you've grown up with has to make it even more special. Yeah, I mean, me and him, I've known him forever, as well as all the other seniors. But it's just we never imagined that it could be. I mean, we imagined maybe being possible, but never imagined that it actually happens. Garrett, when I talked to Coach Sparka about Blake, he said Blake is the most competitive person he has. Give me an example of Blake's competitive nature. Uh, Blake and I are neighbors for nobody that knows that, and we have a little seven or no, 10-year-old now. Just recently it was his birthday, and uh, this 10-year-old looks up to us like we're role models and everything, and we play wiffle ball all the time, and that 10-year-old wants to be just as competitive and beat us. And Blake, Blake cuts him no slack. Blake makes sure that he strikes him out. And I mean, I love him. He loves striking out the little kid. The little kid loves it. So it's awesome. I think that's one of the cool things about yesterday with the, the parade and the pep rally, the fact that you had the Sylvania Rec League little leaguers out there with you guys and the way they're looking up to you. What OHSA always talks about, you never know the little eyes watching you. And, and that was a great example of those little eyes watching you and how much of a role model you guys are are becoming, is that something that, that you feel, is that something that maybe you had when you were growing up, looking up, looking up to the, the older generation of Wildcats? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, everybody always looks up to going to where you're going to go to high school. Everybody always dreams of playing in a state title, winning a state title when you're 8, 9, 10 years old. And I'm, I know that's what those little kids are dreaming of. They're chomping at the bit to one day be in our shoes, to have an opportunity to play for a state title. And I know that we're making an influence on them. So. Tell me a little bit about the sombrero that has made an appearance throughout this run in the postseason. So we call it like the, me and him, we like it as the scoring sombrero. So every time somebody scores, we put it on them, do a little dance. And it started one game just right before Cinco de Mayo. And we won the game 13-3 and just stuck with it because we were winning, so why not? Another very cool aspect of yesterday's celebration was the way that you guys celebrated, not just the team, but some of the members of the team that maybe don't get the attention, the trainer, the, the PA announcer, the, the super fan, Isaac Sayer. The fact that it wasn't just about the 16, 17 guys on the team. It was about this entire community and all these other aspects of this team that came together to win the state championship. They, they got their moment in the sun. Yeah, for sure. I mean, everybody always wants to focus on the team that won the state championship. Very little times do they focus on the community as a whole. Super fan Isaac, as you put it. I mean, that guy was 18 and 0. I mean, he just he loves baseball, loves Northview, and to be able to give him a medal was really cool. I was really happy for him. I'm sure he's smiling right now, wearing that medal around with pride. Yeah. Blake, what does Coach Sparka mean to you? Coach Sparka is I'll remember him, and he'll probably be one of my favorite coaches of all time. But he pushes us, he expects the best from us, and he gets the best out of us. 
because he he loves us so much and he just cares. So he we and he, we all know it. It's been such a memorable week for you guys. Let's close with this. When you look back, what stands out? Is it the the quiet, spontaneous moments? Was it the the steak dinner? Was it the 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 celebration this weekend? Is it possible to pick out one moment that stands out the most? I think for sure it was the quiet, spontaneous moments. The night of winning the state title, seeing the community show out in Savannah at our high school at 11:15 at night. I mean, to see everybody show out, support us, people that we haven't ever gotten the chance to meet or thank, it was it was unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, all the people that couldn't go to the game or had something else going on. I mean, it was a far drive, so the chance we gave them and that they showed up to support us, it was amazing. All right, thank you very much for an amazing run, this Northview Wildcat baseball team. Our guests tonight have been Garrett Draper and Blake Bradford, able to spend a little time with us on this holiday weekend, and we certainly thank you for that. Guys, congratulations once again, and best of luck in the future. Thank, thank you. you.